Welcome back to another video. My name's Troy, and on this channel, we talk about healing, rewriting your story, and going with the flow of life. And today, we're talking about living in your car, the pros and cons, you guys. There's a whole bunch of pros, and there's a few cons. And you guys know me, I'm, I like being positive, and I like being grateful and focusing on the positive. But today, we're going to talk about those little secrets that most people don't talk about. So living in your car, the number one pro is you get to live rent free. You know, the national average of rent is $1,400, you guys. And that's the national average. So of course, if you're in New York or LA or a big city, you might pay more than that. And if you're in a really small town, you might get away with a couple hundred dollars a month. That's just the national average. So, but I was done with that. So I needed a break and I was tired of spending most of my money on rent. Every month I was paying my rent and I would have like $40 left over to last me. That's not okay. Like that's just not it. So that's the number one pro. I also love the fact that you can travel anywhere you want, you know, permitted on your car, of course. And I like that. So I'm, I really just like being free and just flowy and just being like, oh, I want to go here. Or seeing something and being like, I've never been there. Let's go. Or just going to a beach for a couple days or going to a park for a couple days. I love that. That's another good thing. And I love the fact that I am not stuck working a job that I hate anymore because I have to pay for those things. You know, paying rent just kept me stuck in a rat race hamster wheel and I just couldn't. You guys, my mental health was shot. I had over 40 jobs since the time I've been 16 and that's too many and it was just time to take a break from that mentally and focus on my healing and focus on me and focus on my body and step into myself again. Let me put my parking brake on because I'm, I'm parked right now. And um, another thing that I love about living in your car is you get to pretty much kind of go with the flow a little more. Like you're not just like, Oh, I I have a job here and I'm, I guess I'm stuck here and I'm com I have a lease, you know, signed for this many months. Like you get to just kind of decide where you want to be. Same thing as travel, I guess. So that's not really another one. But those those are the things I love you guys. And this has helped me a lot because I'm not stuck just paying rent. I'm not stuck going to work from nine to five. I'm not stuck doing that. And I do work, you guys. It's just not traditional nine to fives. So I have another video I'm gonna make on how I make money living in my car. I'll probably post that in the next week. And um, the cons. So, oh, y'all, the cons. There's not that many because I love being, I'm, I'm just focused on gratitude. I, I believe gratitude should be the attitude, you guys. If you're sick, if you're struggling financially, if you're not live happy with your life, I still think you should find gratitude. I don't care if you gotta pull from dirt to find gratitude, you have to do that or else your life will reflect that negative mindset. It will constantly keep having negative things. You know those people you talk to and every time you talk to them, their life stays negative or it gets worse? That was me because I was just so ungrateful. So we're not gonna go there, but we're gonna keep it real because these public bat restrooms, I can't, you guys. Like, what are you guys eating or what are you guys doing to your stomachs these toilets, I don't get what you guys are doing. And it's, I don't know women's bathroom, restrooms, because I'm not a woman. But as far as the men's bathrooms, dirty, filthy, nasty. And I guess I'm kind of a clean private person, maybe. I'm, I'm finding out, I guess I'm kind of clean because I'm not saying you can't have stomach issues. But if you do clean up after yourself, you know, it's a public restroom, clean up after yourself. So people don't do that. So it makes it hard. And same thing with the bathrooms and the gym bathrooms, like where I take my showers at. It's not always clean. So I have to just like in the moment, tell myself, <laughs> find gratitude. You know, the gym employees don't clean well, plus the customers don't clean up after themselves. So it's just two dirty things like mold. And like I saw a Band-Aid in the shower the other day and it's just like, ah, so I just sprayed the heck out of that shower really good with the sanitizers, you know, and just went in there with a positive mindset. And I did my thing and I felt good because I got to shower, which you guys don't get it twisted. There's always somebody living worse than you. So remember that. 
you know? And like I said, find gratitude in every moment or every situation, external circumstance, it doesn't matter, you know? Find gratitude internally and it will translate externally. And um, privacy, you don't get privacy in your car. Plus you're under, uh, you're in this little car, you know, you don't get a lot of protection from heat or cold, the weather. So right now I'm parked at a gas station under the little um, awning to get some shade and to make this video. And um, privacy, people looking in sometimes, you know, they can kind of make you like, what are they doing? You know, just straight up, like I'll show you how my car looks right now. It's, you know, it's not always perfect. And sometimes people could look in and be like, what? You know, or just not even that. It's just like, mind your business, first of all. But then sometimes I could be like, oh, I hope they don't know I live in my car. And that doesn't matter either, you guys, because I still have a great life. But, you know, it's not technically legal living in your car. So that's another pro con, I guess. And you just got to be really discreet. You got to find your own safety. You have to use your intuition, your uh, spirit guides. Make sure you're always feeling divinely guided and protected because... I had an attempted break-in with me sleeping in my car. That was scary as heck. So I don't want you guys to experience that. And last but not least, you guys, uh, kitchens. I miss kitchens. There's nothing like a real kitchen with a sink and a, you know, a real fridge and a real stove and all those things. And I have some how I cook in my videos, uh, how I cook in my car videos. And I think I'm really doing a good job. I'm still a very lucky person to have to have the skills that I have, plus the mindset, plus the things that are out there for us that allow us to cook in our car and live in our car. And this is a really good time to live, you guys. So find gratitude there. And um, just want you guys to kind of know that it is it is uh, a con to every lifestyle. You know, like I said, I could be having this luxury apartment, but I will be having to work a job, you know, so many days a week. So. It's always a pro and a con and i want you guys to see the cons but i still if you guys ask me should you live in your car heck to the yes move into your car as soon as possible break your lease get rid of your lease uh get rid of your car note if you have a brand new car i don't care get you a used car and go live in your car it is the best thing ever you guys because i never knew i could be this free like i never felt like this before like just worry free scarcity free um my life was so rigid and strict and i was so hard on myself i gotta go to work i gotta do this i gotta do that now i'm just like oh i get to like just chill and heal and go for a walk and read and learn about new fruits and vegetables and learn about dr sebi and spirituality and learn about new crystals and just like fun stuff you know that is aligned with me so I think it's good if you're struggling with that. So I would recommend it, of course. Just want you guys to know what you sign up for because I like being honest there, you know? So I hope that helps somebody. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Like I said, we talk about healing. We talk about finding your life purpose, rewriting your story, which is important. If this was me three years ago, shoot, a year and a half ago telling this video, it would have been so negative and that's me rewriting my story i'm finding positive and light in everything so i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to comment share and subscribe love you guys have a wonderful day